your late blade. Do you know what I like about you, Morris? No. No. Neither do I. What are you reading, Nicky? Um, the Bradford model. Shit. It's Metalink's study of the psychological aspect of inner city policing. Huh. Sounds like a real page turner. Right. Hi. What's the score then? Got the calls just like everyone else. Grisham's in with a divisional head down from Manchester. She's not transferring, is she? Why? Would you miss her? Ah, oh, they're all worse, I suppose. All right, settle down, please. I want to introduce you all to Mr. Gareth Oldroyd, who'll be heading this investigation. Hi. Mr. Oldroyd is pursuing a man called Lenny Gebler. This is him here. We don't know him, but apparently he's making quite a name for himself north of Watford. He's a fence. Cars, money, drugs, he isn't fussy, and he's big. What's he doing down here, Chief? Gareth? Well, I've been closing in on Gebler for the past two years. Now I've had a tip-off. He's here to pick up a consignment of diamonds stolen in Preston. He's collecting them, and I'm going to be there. The Leighton diamonds? Oh, you know about those? I read about them in the newspaper. It's supposed to be worth about a million. Try two. Actually, what with the RAND falling so low and a 27% market penetration from the Russian diamond exchange, I think you'll find that the prices are falling quite spectacularly, sir. Thank you, Robson. Whatever the current market value, this must be one of the biggest hauls in criminal history. And personally, I'm delighted we're going to play a part mm. in their recovery. However, I think we should be aware that Mr. Gebler is a very slippery customer and even now could be trying to pull a fast one on us. Which is why Mr. Oldroyd has specifically requested you, Turner. Chief? Yes, what are you doing now? Well, I'm testing out that new surveillance equipment. Well, that can wait. Yeah, I want someone to authenticate the diamonds. Well, gemology really isn't my field. But can you do it? Yes. Good. I want you there. Where is there? Well, according to the tip-off, it's a warehouse slade by the river, nine o'clock tonight. Slade? Yes. What? Wow. Good. Well, let's get back to work and we'll meet here again at uh, six o'clock. Thank you. Eight. Can I just ask you about, um, about Slade? Yes. He's not Jack Slade's son, is he? Yes. I don't believe this. Look, I don't want him on the case. I've nothing against him personally, but, uh, well, you must know Jack, his father. Yes. I was his partner. I knew that, too. Well, you've got to understand then, you know. I mean, uh, after what happened with the father, I can't get involved with the son. Look. If I take Slade off this case, I'll be passing judgment on his father and on him, and I can't do that. Out of all the places Gebler could have gone, why did he have to come here? What time is it? He's late. Relax, Henry. When I'm 300 miles north of here, that's when I'll relax. Max and Melvin Marsh are the brothers. The other one there, Henry Blacksland. He's the one to watch out for. Is he armed? Yeah. Are you OK? Yeah, I'm fine. You've met him before, haven't you, Gareth Oldroyd? No, we never met, but I do know the name. Slade? Forget it. What about Kepler? That'll be enough. <laughs> Typical, Lenny. It always did have style. Have you got the money? Why do you think I'm here? Please. The diamond. Turner, you wait until we've got them, then we'll bring you in. Now! Here we go. Please, nobody move! Right, get Freeze! Down! Don't tell me! Freeze! Hold that! Hold it!
I come here for a meeting. Nobody told me it was going to turn into the old dead corral. Polly. Oh, all right. Oh, you break me off. Oh. All right. Are you satisfied? Yeah, very satisfied. You've got a very good team. Thank you. Jeff, I think you saved my life. All part of the service. I'm grateful. What do you think? It's amazing. Three carrots, no inclusions. Is it a real diamond? Well, I told you before I'm no expert, but they're certainly not cubic zirconium. That's the most common substitute. Uh, would you mind checking another one, just, just to be sure? You're stuffed! They're real. Thank you. All right, Gabler. You're under arrest for procuring stolen goods. You don't have to say anything. No! Set me up! All right, let's wrap this up. Come on, sunshine. You better look after these. Oh, nothing. I had a feeling someone was following us, that's all. I'm surprised you're nervous. What have you got in your hands there? What are you going to do with them? I was hoping you might take them. <laughs> Put them under my pillow. <laughs> well, I dare say I can do better than that. Does anybody else know the combination? No, and I'm not even going to tell you. <laughs> Fair enough. Is the building patrolled? It will be. Good. Well, we'll call the insurance company in the morning. Thank you, Kate. Glad we could help. You're not your usual self. Hmm? You're pleasant to all droid. In fact, you've been pleasant to everyone. You even said good night to Morris. Yeah, well. So how do you know him? <laughs> Who, Aldroyd? Well, I don't know if it's the same man. It's got to be. He was my father's partner. I, I thought your father retired from the police force. No, he has. So? So nothing, Holly, just forget it. There's still something about this that doesn't make sense. What's that? The diamonds. Now, they were stolen in Preston. Why did they come all the way down here? Yeah. Yeah, that's been bothering me as well. Gebler was supposed to be buying them. But where was the money? Didn't have a penny on him. American Express? I don't think so. Mm -mm. I'm going home. Huh? You? No, I'll stay for a bit. All right. See you tomorrow. Yeah. The listening device has a range of 60 feet and a typical battery life. I can't believe it. This place has all night security. Well, you can't deny the evidence with your own eyes, Kate. I put them in there myself. You saw me. I know where we should be looking. Okay. Mr. Morris. Uh, you. You. Come with me. Turner. Have you seen Slade? No, Chief. Why, what is it? Do you know where he went last night? We had a few drinks and I left. When we left the warehouse, you weren't following me, were you? No, Chief. Why? Just let me know when he arrives.
want this place turned upside down. The bed hasn't been slept in, sir. Keep looking. I don't think Slade ever does any shopping. Sir. time we don't need a science officer to confirm it. You went drinking last night? Uh, yeah, I had a glass or two of wine, yeah. That's not why I'm like this, though. There was someone waiting for me in my flat when I got back last night. They, uh, they knocked me out and drugged me, I think. They were found in your flat? In the icebox. Yes, they are. Well, it was whoever knocked me out. They must have put them there. Jeff, tell me something. Do you know the combination of this safe? 36, 17, 25. <laughs> See, nobody had those numbers. Were you ever in the room when the safe was open? I don't know the numbers to the safe, and I didn't take the diamonds. Chief, you know me better than that. I don't know what to think. I don't believe this. I mean, what have we got here, you know? Like father, like son, or what? Slade! Leave my father out of this. Don't do that. Don't make things worse for yourself. Slade, there's something else. Come on, show him. This is a printout from your bank account. What, a copy of my overdraft? No, you don't have an overdraft. Not anymore. £25,000 was paid in two days ago. Cash deposit. Chief. Come on, son, you've got to tell us. Now, you took the diamonds, you've kept one or two back for yourself. What have you done with the rest? What the? Wait! Oh, I have to oh, set up. Done. Get after him! Yeah, I noticed that too. Why didn't you stop him? My door was locked. I suppose it was your car just sitting here waiting for him, was no. it? No. No, it was mine. Oh. Nicky, if anyone asks for me, tell them I've gone home. Are you going to find Slade? Nicky. If, if you see him, will you tell him that I'm right behind him? Thanks. Yeah, if he needs a character witness, you know, it is only a first offence. Thanks, Nicky. Yes, Mr. Morris. I was just thinking, sir. Slade's in pretty close with Turner, and when I saw her leaving just now, I thought, well, it might be worth a try. Oh, you've got an address for Holly Turner? Yes, sir. What are you waiting for? She wasn't going to make it. I couldn't just leave with Grisham and everyone else there. I came as soon as I could. You know what's been going on, don't yes. you? Yes. I've been set up. There was someone waiting for me in my flat last night. They drugged me and put some needle in my neck. They put the diamonds in the fridge. They put £25,000 in my bank account. I've got to travel back. I've got to find Fine. out how it was done. What, you mean you're going to let me use the machine and not have to go down on my knees and beg for it? It's all yours. Well, that must be in more trouble than I thought. <laughs> Do me a favour. It's the police. Hold them off for as long as you can. 
I, I thought you were the police. Two or three minutes, that's all we need. OK. Is it working? It's working. Right. Um, I'm going to need more than a day this time. I want to go back to before the raid. You know I can't guarantee that. Maybe take us about 20 seconds. proven but we can try crossing our fingers what kept you sorry uh, uh, I, I, i'm a bit deaf slade and charter where are they first floor come on watch out for the Right down here, sir. yesterday afternoon. Get will arrive at the warehouse at ten past two. We're not going to make it. It's not bad. It's given us 24 hours. It's given us 24 seconds. I'm walking out of here! Anyone tries to stop me, I'll kill him! That's us. I did it have to go in that way? <laughs> I love a dramatic entrance. I wish we could get closer. No, we can't meet ourselves, Slade. Let's not make things more complicated than they already are. What now? Grisham will come out with the diamonds. She takes them to the station and then she'll put them in the safe. All we've got to do is make sure we're close to her. That easy. If only. There she is. And she's got the diamonds. We don't need to get too close. We know where she's going. This morning at the office, she said she thought we were following her. Well, she was right. Go. Up two floors and into the safe. You know, we could go back to your flat. See who knocks you out. No. I'm more interested in seeing who breaks in here. You asleep? No chance. Anything? No, no sign. I'm thinking about Gebler. If he didn't have the money. I mean, I know Aldroyd said he was slippery. But... Shh. Who is it? It's just Frank, my duty. We can't stay here. Next time he might come in. Yeah, all right. Hang on a minute. What are you doing? I want to see inside. I thought you didn't know the combination. I didn't. Until Grisham told me. When? Tomorrow morning. 36, 17, 25. as if we'd been wasting our time. They've already gone. I checked them myself, Slade. They were in the pouch. It's ten past two. Twelve hours to go. Is it safe to go back to your flat? Yeah, sure. I've been knocked out with an anaesthetic dart and dumped in the local park. I don't think we'll be disturbed. Thank 
you. You ever going to get this place furnished? You might find furniture does improve it. There's a table. It's a table tennis table. Yep. Okay. So, you're going to tell me? Your father. Now, I don't know what he's got to do with all this, but it's something, because every time I mention his name, you get all evasive. Ready? Stop it. You're doing it again. Now, where is he? What happened to him? OK. He's in prison. What? I haven't seen him or spoken to him for five years. It was his decision. He was sent down for nine. Could be at any time now. He just doesn't want to see me till then. What happened? Um... It was a bank raid. £200,000. That was a lot of money then. He was in charge of the case with Oldroyd. That's how Oldroyd got his promotion. Only the trouble was half the money went missing. And your father got the blame? Yeah. He said he was innocent, but... Go on. Well, there's nothing more to say. I wasn't at the trial. I wasn't even in the country. I had extended leave. It was in all the papers, though. But you don't read the papers? No, that's when I stopped. He was a good policeman for 30 years. He got shot once. He was commended four times. I don't know. Maybe he did make a stupid mistake, but... Have you never thought that maybe he was innocent? Of course I have. I've always thought that. But it's been five years now. Sometimes it's... It's just easier not to think about it, so... And where is he now? Oh, they've moved him nearer here. He never let me know, but I found out. So what happened to him is exactly what's happening to you. History repeating itself. No, not history. Whoever's behind all this. Tomorrow we go to see him. Now, let's get some sleep. Do you want the bed? Well, if it's either that or the table tennis table, home. Um... <laughs> I'll take the couch. Okay. Night. Did you take him? What do you think? I could ask you the same thing. I never thought you were guilty, Dad. You didn't come to my trial. You told me not to. You could have argued. What, with you? I tried to see I you. I didn't want you to see me. Not like this. So what have they got on you? It's mostly circumstantial. But someone put £25,000 in his account, and they found some diamonds in his flat. Anything else? Do they need anything else? You're right. Is that what happened to you, Dad? Is that how they set you up? I was cheaper. Two grand stashed under the floorboards. Anyone could have put it there. The night after the bank raid, we had a celebration. You know. Job well done, out on the town, drinks all round. Next thing I know, they trace the notes back. Serial numbers. Someone planted them on me. I don't know how. I don't suppose I ever will. Your partner was a man called Aldroyd? He's not involved in this. Hmm. Gareth Aldroyd, he was a good mate. At least until all this happened. After that, he didn't want to know. Never heard from him since. So, what about the money, then? How did you get it in the first place? It was a bank raid, Hill Street. Swiss International Bank. Professional job. We'd been after the gang for months. They were meeting a fence who was going to launder it for him. He came down from up north, and we took him. Not Lenny Gebler. Don't tell me you know him, too.
Gebler. He's the one behind this. He's got to be. Maybe there were no diamonds. But you authenticated them. Yeah, I wish I hadn't. And he was nowhere near them after that. But you're right, I've got to go and see him. How? Oh. He's in the cells and I'm still unconscious in the park. I've got time. I can't come in with you. I'm already there. I know, you better move the car and keep well out of the way. I think you'll find I'll be leaving in a hurry. I'll meet you at the wine bar. you about the diamonds. What about them? The beautiful diamonds, the Leighton diamonds. You know, they were always said to carry a curse. I think I'm talking to it. You've come here to insult me. I've come here to ask you where they are. Will you tell me? Okay. Let's try this. Why did you set up the meeting in London? Why not in Preston or somewhere up north? I like London. Give me a chance to do some shopping. You know my father. Do I? Jack Slade? He remembers you. Oh, yes. Jack Slade. Hmm. He was rather a naughty boy, wasn't he? All that money. <laughs> Where are the diamonds? I know they're not in the safe. You were never going to buy them. You didn't even have the money. Of course I didn't have the money. What, do you think I was going to walk in there with a million quid in my back pocket? <laughs> You've got nothing on me, Slade. Nothing. No one has. And if you haven't got the diamonds, you can't keep me. I'll be out of here by lunch. You'll see. <laughs> I need to make a phone call. Why now? Did you know my son came to visit me this morning? He's in trouble. I think I can help him. I've worked it out. I'm sorry, but you're not making yourself clear. Listen, Warden, I've been locked up now for five years and one month. And suddenly, it's all very bloody clear to me. Now, I need to speak to Jeff. It's urgent. Telephones are available between 6 and 8 o'clock this evening. You have an entitlement to a six-minute call. I need one minute. But I need it now. I'm sorry, but the rules are there for a reason. I'm sure I can wait. Hi. Do you want one? No, thank you. 
No, thanks. We've got one hour, 12 minutes to get back to the machine. No, no, we're not going back to the machine, not yet. What? I want you to do something for me. I need you to make a phone call. Who am I calling? Grisham. Grisham? Mm -hmm. What am I going to say to her? Gebler said he'd be released by lunchtime, and we're going to help him on his way. Grisham. You want me to do what? Yes. Who is this? I've decided to let you go, Mr. Gebler. What? Just like that? Hmm, there's been a development. <laughs> Lost the diamonds, have you? <laughs> Not that there ever were any diamonds, as far as I'm concerned. What? One of your boys told me. Who was that? I think he said his name was Slade. When was he here? About an hour ago. About 11. 11 o'clock? You're lying. Why should I lie? He was here. So he knew the diamonds had gone? Of course he knew. Without the diamonds, we can't formally charge you, Mr. Gabler, but we do know where to find you. And when we do find the diamonds, we'll be back. All right, Frank. Anything I can do to help, you only have to ask. Always a pleasure. This way. One hour. Just gonna have to be enough. If I'm right about this, it won't be much further. Well, if it is any further, we're gonna have to turn back. We're only 20 minutes from the flat. I certainly can afford a nice glass of hotel. 40 minutes. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, I'm Leonard sir. Gebler. Gebler. Room's just over there at the top. The tower room. Thank you. OK. Thank you. Police. The man who came in just now, what room is he staying in, please? Mr. Gebler, it's the tower room. It's on the top floor up there. Sooner than I expected. Yeah, you were right there. There was no way they could hold me. Seven o'clock this evening. I'll see you in the warehouse. Hello. 
It's okay, Aldroy. She wasn't gonna let me stay. I'm all yours. Why'd you do it, Jeff? You know, after what I've been through with your dad. Oh, maybe it's like what you said. Like father, like son. Four ten p.m. Oldroyd interviewing Jeff Slade, Grisham, and Morris. Present. Right. Where are they? You can't have a solicitor present. Of oh, course, solicitor's not going to help me. Oh, for heaven's sake, why are you trying to make this more unpleasant than it already is? Just tell us what you've done with the diamonds. I mean, in the long run, it could stand in your favour. Just for the record, Slade hasn't admitted he took the diamonds. I took them, Chief. What? I'm sorry. It was stupid. Just like my father all those years ago. Maybe it's in the genes. You're admitting you took them? Well, why are you so surprised? I thought you knew all along. Well, where are they? If I tell you, you'll take it into account. Yes. I don't know where they are, but I know where they're going to be. I can take you to them. Where? Seven o'clock tonight. I'm supposed to be meeting someone. Who? If you take me there, I'll show you. I'm sorry, I don't like this. I think he's just playing games with us, some sort of a trick. No. Where, Slade, where is this meeting of yours? Back at the warehouse, where it all started. All right. We'll take you there. Kate, okay. I know you know him a lot better than I do, but uh, I still don't like this. I mean, if you want to go, you go, but I'm staying here. No, I'd prefer it if you came, Gareth. You started this. I think you should be there at the end. All right. You say so. I do. We'll all go together. I told you, didn't I? Complete waste of time. Well, he never was a very good timekeeper. Who are you talking about, Slade? There's nobody. Where's Jeff Slade? Uh, actually, this area is prohibited to the general public. If you want to try general inquiry... Do you know where they've gone? Yes. You're taking me there. No, I'm not. Oh, yes, you are. Get in. Wait a minute. My name is Nicky Robson. I'm 23. I'm not married, but I, I, I do have a girlfriend. What are you telling me all this for? It's the Stockholm guidelines on hostage situations creating rapport. Standard procedure.
It's Gabla. You, Gabla? Yes, Morris. Him and me working together. Well, what are you waiting for, old boy? Why don't you arrest him? No, I can't do that. I only just released him. Has he got the diamonds? He knows where they are. I'll arrest him? No. No. It was Oldroyd's investigation. It's his arrest. Your move, Gareth. We did it! Shut up! What are you talking about? It worked like a dream! Shut up! <laughs> I've got the money! <laughs> Shut up, we're being watched! What are you talking about, huh? Have you got the diamonds? Give me the case! What are you doing? Give me the case, Lenny! Seen enough? Give it to me! I think you made your point. Morris? I hope you've remembered the key. I'm mad. I'm getting out of here. Watch it, you're breaking the case. Get out. Hold droid. Jeff, you're on your own. Christian thought I might appreciate it, and she was right. Listen, you help me get away. There's enough money there to set you up for life. You must be joking. All right, I'll do it on my own then. You follow me, you're dead. Such luck, I'm afraid. Get off! It had to be Gebler and Aldroyd working together. There was only one time they could make the switch. It was when we were all there at the warehouse. It was when Gebler attacked one of the gang. He shouted he'd been set up. Classic misdirection. For just a few seconds, everyone was looking at Gebler. Aldroyd was holding the diamonds. Now, it was important that we knew they were real diamonds. That's why he insisted on Holly being there. Once you'd authenticated them, he wrapped them up in that blue velvet pouch. With an identical pouch full of plastic beads sitting in his pocket. Simple as that. It's the cold-bloodedness of it I can't believe. Choosing you, knocking you out, setting you up, when they'd done exactly the same thing. With my father? Yeah. I suppose that's why he chose me. History repeating itself. That's what he wanted everyone to think. Smells good. Have you got any fenugreek? Fenny what? Fenugreek. It's a spice. Don't you ever make anything? I made this. <laughs> oh, that again. Oh, we should have done this at your place. Three people, two plates. Don't worry, you'll be fine. Just keep that door shut. Hi. Come in. This is for you. Oh, thank you. You shouldn't have. I didn't. Kate Grisham sent me a crate. Oh. Just go straight through. I hope you don't mind eating in the kitchen, but we're painting the sitting room, so... It's a terrible mess in there. This is good. You're a good cook. Thank you. Chef, 
Something's been bothering me. Yeah? About this old droid business. I can't get it out of my head. What's that? You came to see me at nine o'clock in the morning in jail, right? Yeah. Well, as I understand it, at nine o'clock in the morning, you were lying unconscious in some park after Aldroyd had knocked you out. Ah. Uh, he wasn't really knocked out. No. We just pretended. In order to trap Aldroyd? Yeah. We'd always suspected him after what happened to you. And we followed him to his hotel and saw he had the diamonds, so... And the only reason we came to you was because we wanted to check that that was the way he worked, that it really was him. Fine. That's what I thought. Holly Turner. You're not related to uh, Frederick Turner, by any chance, are you? He's my father. Really? So, this was his flat, where he lived and worked? Yeah. Well, that's interesting. Because, you see, I found this book in the prison library by him. It's all about time travel. Time travel? That must have been the fiction section, right, Dad? I don't know. I never read it. Right. I might, though. 